Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. News of Confederate General Robert E. Lee's surrender at Appomattox Courthouse in Virginia on April 9th reached Natchez at 7 o'clock p.m. on this day, April 13, 1865. Union troops stationed at Fort McPherson greeted the news with the wildest enthusiasm. According to various accounts, Natchez was splendidly illuminated that night as part of a grand celebration. Members of the engineering department who were living at the burn placed six candles in each window. A soldier in one Union regiment noted that all the military at this post turned out under arms with torches, banners, mottos, 100 guns fired from Fort McPherson and the gunboat Benton, and a big time generally had by the members of the U.S. colored troops and the residents of the contraband camps. A soldier observed that the Confederate and Union soldiers now mingled freely at the picket lines located at the city limits. The Confederate soldiers and the men of Natchez seemed particularly eager to see the war end, the soldier wrote, as it has been so devastating. The next day, General Davidson, commander of federal forces in Natchez, granted all Union troops a holiday to commemorate Grant's victory. Hello, I'm Benny Johnson, a partner with Silas Simmons CPAs in Natchez, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.